Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Anytime you are creating a publication for the web, you may want to insert a hyperlink that takes your visitors to another page in your site or another site somewhere else on the internet. For example, you could have a hyperlink that took visitors to a page in your site with your contact information, or you could have a hyperlink that sent visitors to your favorite news site. Either way, the process for creating hyperlinks is pretty much the same. First, you just select the text or image to which you want to apply the hyperlink. Then you choose Insert, and then choose Hyperlink from the menu bar. You can also just click the Insert Hyperlink button in the standard toolbar if desired. Either way, it'll open the Insert Hyperlink dialog box. And here you have to select a type of hyperlink in the Link To section. Could be an existing file or web page, a place in the document, could create a new document, or it could be an email address. If you select existing file or web page, then you need to use the look in drop down to the right to navigate to the location of the file on your computer, or choose a recently visited page by clicking the browsed pages button to select a browsed page. Now if you select place in this document, you need to select a place in your document, such as the next page, for the link to lead to. If you select Create New Document, you need to give the new document a title, choose its full path, and choose to edit the document now or later in the When to Edit section. If you select Email Address, you simply need to type the email address that you want the hyperlink to send mail to into the Email Address section. Then you can include the subject line of the automatic email that's sent to you in the subject section if desired. You could also choose an email address from the list of recently used email addresses section if you've used this feature before. Now once you've entered all of the necessary information, just click the OK button. If you link to files on your hard drive or to other pages in your website, just make sure you upload all of the necessary files and that you've used the correct file names in the links when you send it to your web server. Now if at any time you wish to remove a hyperlink, select, select the image or text from which you want to remove the hyperlink, choose Insert Hyperlink again from the menu bar, and then just click the Remove Link button at the right side of the Insert Hyperlink dialog box in order to remove the hyperlink from the selected text or image. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.